Hi, I'm Kristen Thompson with ilovetocreate.com and today I want to show you my favorite product, the Tulip Fashion Glitter and the Tulip Fashion Glitter Bond, alongside with our multi-surface stencils by Tulip, of course. So what you want to do is get a blank tee or tote, anything you want to design on. Go ahead and take your multi-surface stencil, peel off the backing, and just be real careful. Some of these lines are really thin, so just keep working your way around the stencil, just like this, until you get it all out. Perfect. Okay. And then you're going to decide on your placement. I'm going to go for the center right here. And press down real firmly over your, your multi-surface stencil. You want to make sure you do that because when you go to apply your glitter bond or anything else that you might use this stencil with, you want to make sure nothing bleeds underneath. So press firmly down just like that. Then we're going to come over here and grab our tulip glitter bond. You can grab a paper plate or a piece of foil, whatever's easier for you, and go ahead and squirt some out, just like that. Then you'll take your sponge, dip it, dab off any excess. You don't want to apply the glue too thick. And then just go ahead and tap it on just like this. And you'll continue to reapply until you get a nice, even coverage. Now, if you're doing two different colors, you're going to want to go ahead and block those off. So you're only going to want to add the glitter bond to the places that are going to be the same color. Now a good tip to use, you can always use painter's tape to help you block off any sections. If you're worried and you just want to make sure you don't cross any colors or add any glue where you don't want any glue, that's always good. And you'll just continue till it's nice and even. And then when you're all done, you're, you'll pick your color, which I'm going to go with pink. And then your foil, just like that. And then sprinkle it on. Now don't worry about adding too much or too little. You can be as free, as liberal as you want with it because next, we're going to shake off any excess. You take a nice piece of cardstock like this. I like to use the 12 by 12s because it helps catch anything that might fall around the surface. You'll carefully pick up your tee just like this and shake off any excess onto your cardstock. Just like that. I like to come behind the shirt too and give it a little tap from behind on those pieces that just don't want to come off. Just like this. Okay. And then what's nice is with the cardstock, you can easily fold it up to so get a nice tip. Take your Tulip Fashion Glitter Bottle. Just pour it right back inside. There you go. And now we can use it for another color. So we're just going to repeat our process, come back over here, take our sponge, dip it into our glitter bond, and add it to the section for the next color. Now you don't always have to use stencils either. You can use painter's tape to create stripes if you like. You can even use a paintbrush to create your own stripes or designs. And now I think we're going to go with black for the bottom. Foil gets me every time. Okay, and sprinkle this guy on just like that. Now notice, I didn't remove my stencil in between colors. That's because I want to maintain my design. Sometimes if you remove the stencil too early, the colors of the glitter can bleed and then it gets really muddy. We don't want that. So the stencil helps to keep the design nice and separate. And 
we'll go ahead and do our last little part here. Add some more glitter bond. Okay, and now we're ready to reveal our awesome design. Slowly peel your stencil off. The great thing about these stencils too is they're reusable. So you could do one cupcake on a t-shirt, you could do four cupcakes on a t-shirt, as many as you want. And if you still have any excess glitter hanging around, just go ahead and tap it from behind. Just like that. So let me show you what else you can use it with. You don't have to just use the fashion glitter with the glitter bond. You can even use it with the Tulip 3D fashion paint. Let me show you how. Just take this little piece of fabric. When you're using the 3D fashion paint, you want to give it a little tap in the beginning to remove any bubbles that might be inside. Then go ahead and give it a couple of practice squeeze outs, just like that. Okay, I think we're ready. Then whatever you happen to be designing on. Go ahead and start your design just like this. Squeeze it out. And the lines don't have to be super thick. Okay, then you go ahead. I would recommend to choose a coordinating color. That way if anything should shine underneath, it kind of blends. Then you go ahead and shake your glitter right on top. Remove any excess, tap it off onto your piece of cardstock. And there you go. Take your 3D paint up a couple of notches. I love it. Now let me show you a couple of other ideas that we've done with our Tulip Fashion Glitter. This one, we actually used our paintbrush and we did the glitter bond and underneath we actually did a layer of our Tulip Fashion Soft Paint, which came out really nice. And the glitter just gave it that extra kick. And then over here, we did a simple dress that is not so simple anymore. It looks fabulous. I love it. And we just kind of brushed on all of our different glitter bond and then our, added some different colors, put a little trim on there for a little accent. Awesome, I love it. And then we have this awesome guitar t-shirt, which we did with some stencil work again. And then we did a little bit of brush work on the side. I love this stuff. It's easy to use, it's permanent, and it's washable. I mean, what gets better than that? It's washable glitter. So why don't we check out some of your designs? Post them at our gallery at ilovetocurate.com.